Hey guys, Jamie here. So I wanted to give you an update on Morgan since I've been trying to keep up really well. Um, but first, those of you that follow my channel know that we teach free flight training for outdoors. Um, we do it indoors as well, but we also offer a course for outdoors. And recently we brought our Freestyle Flyers Club to Hawaii where we trained a blue and gold macaw named Sunshine who I really connected with, of course, and um, she is adorable. And I got this video this morning from Claudia, our client of Sunshine, watching me train Morgan, and I just felt like Sunshine was totally rooting Morgan on, so I wanted to share it with you real quick. It's so funny see Sunshine watching you, Jane, on TV. Look her eyes. And... She's watching Morgan. I just want to point out how receptive to praise Morgan is. I can usually coax her and talk her into something just through encouragement alone. Hey guys, so I've gone from one training session a day to two. Got to do two sessions. I do one in the morning and one in the evening. So pretty cool. Other birds are pretty jealous right now. So we're going to see if she'll do some flight. Okay, so back to Morgan. Uh, this week I took a day off from training. And to be completely honest with you guys on why, it's because I had a really bad dream and I woke up just off, like off emotionally and everything. I was just really off. I don't know if you guys can relate and have had a dream that just feels so real and it pulls certain things out of you that make you question things and just kind of messes you up for a little while. It sat with me all day and um you know and i felt like morgan worked really hard the day before and she could be sore so i was just like oh, i'm gonna take the day off and so we both got the day off and she was still exposed to new things like i say every interaction is a training session and so we had a really beautiful 55 degree weather day i was able to open up the garage door and get some air in for them for a few hours, which was amazing, and Morgan hadn't experienced that yet, so that was really cool, along with some other things that just like are things in our normal life that she got to experience. So that was a day off, and I think it served both of us really well, but I still kind of woke up this morning just like lagging. I just don't totally have my head together. And so, for example, I completely forgot that my daughter had swim class today and I realized at the exact time that swim class was happening that she had swim class. We were in the car at a Mexican restaurant and I just drove across town as fast as I could, hauled her butt in there and threw her in the pool with her clothes on and said, please do swim class, please let her do swim class with her clothes on. And then I had 30 minutes to figure out what I was going to do when she got out of the pool because we had nothing on us, no extra clothes or anything. So that was really fun. And I came home, made this really awesome lavender tea I'd been wanting to make, poured it in this, like those pitchers that, um, more like those containers where you flip the knob and then it comes out. It's like a tap and the tap was open when I poured the tea in, so it went all over the floor. That's just like the kind of day I've had today. So, uh, brutal. And when I did race home, um, Patty and I just totally miscommunicated and she fed Morgan <laughs> tonight, like this evening, she fed her all of her pellets and I rushed in to do a training session before it got too late and I, it was around five o'clock and I saw she had eaten her pellets and I was just like, oh no. And then I just thought, you know what? I made swim class work, so I'm gonna see if I can just make this training session work. When you're doing training via capturing, it's kind of, <laughs> I kind of wanna say a crapshoot. It's kind of like, you just wait and see what you get anyway. So I figured I would just go for it. And Morgan was amazing. And I think part of it is because we did have that day off, she had the enthusiasm, but Honestly, the fact that she had just eaten her pellets should have completely worked against me. And I had Dave film for me because now we're moving around a lot and it's getting harder to just set it on a tripod. Um, I had Dave film for me and he literally like stopped the clip and goes, you should end here, Jamie, like you should stop. I was like, no, I just wanna keep going, I'm so excited. And she was so excited. So I did another flight and I was like, wasn't that awesome? She's so strong, she's doing great. And then I did another flight and I might've done like one more. And then I was like, I should stop, huh? I really wanna keep going, but I should stop, right? And he's like, yeah. 
So we did, we ended really, really well. I was incredibly happy. She's doing fantastic, progressing so quickly. I'm really excited. And you guys are asking really in detailed like questions that are super good. So I know that you guys are paying attention and that's really, really awesome. So I'm gonna just skip at it and let you guys see everything. So I hope you really like it and are happy with our successes this week and our progress. And by the way, today is day 12 of having Morgan completely. I mean, I feel like weeks are going by, but it's actually just singular days. <laughs> so we aren't even two full weeks in of having this bird. I mean, I'm really, really excited about this progress. Now, I don't normally start training sessions until I have everything ready, and here I did not have everything ready, like I said, one of those days. Um, so she flew before I was even ready, which is actually an awesome sign. Like when Morgan starts beating me to being ready, as far as if she's chasing me right here and flying to me before I call her, that's really what I want, because that means she's incredibly enthusiastic about the flying, and I can start implementing a cue. Um, but she's obviously not there yet, so... But we are getting there just by that little glimpse. So also you'll notice in these videos, I'm showing a lot more of setting her down on the perch because she's going down so much easier now. And she is turning around so much easier. I just feel like she's getting around a lot easier now. So I'm excited for you guys to notice all these little nuances in her training. Good job. You're doing. start you further back. Let's do this. Start progressing. Oof. You guys are really getting an in-depth glance at how I actually train. This is me just adapting, coming up with ideas, implementing them, trying them out. This is how I train. I just kind of work with the environment and the animal and whatever I feel or think would be a good idea, I just tend to try it and go for it and see what happens and then that guides me to the next thing. I should do it. So she's in a much narrower spot, and then I'm moving, so she has to adjust while in the air. All right, ready? Come on. Good. So I'm not moving a ton, but enough that she has to adjust to move to the right this time. Good. Good girl. I'm gonna make this flight straight for her because I am wedged her back, so she might be more nervous about opening her wings, although it doesn't look like it. Ready? Come on. Good. Good job. Woohoo. Easy. There. <laughs> Ready? I was gonna make it easier on her by going over there because she had a direct flight pattern, but now I think I might just wait it out and stay here, wait for her to come. So her obstacles right now are my counter, my flat counter, my two chairs, and the couch that she has to fly over.
try to get her to go to more this side of the room. I want to see if I can get her to fly off another new surface. She's never flown off the chairs before. She's always gotten down from them. Hey, Morgan. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. Come on. Good girl. So here I got the idea to start having Morgan do some ascending, some basic ascending. And she was already starting to do it by having to fly over the chairs, over the counter, over the couch. That meant that she had to keep a certain height, but this she actually had to fly up to me. So as you can see, it didn't start off super controlled, but it was still great because she made the height. And I wanted to keep doing the ascending flights because that builds strength and muscle and helps with her overall stamina. So the more ascending that she does, the stronger she gets. Descending really builds skills and puts on the brakes. So it's a whole different set of skills for her to learn. So as you guys saw in that first flight, she struggled a little bit. On this flight, she went more of a round and that makes it easier on her. So there she goes again, going around. That just makes the ascending easier. I want you guys to be able to really see this. Okay, so you're gonna miss the takeoff, but you're gonna see what I'm doing. So to explain this a little bit further, if you have a mountainside and you wanna go up it, Bandit is the type of bird that will just fly straight up and do that hard, hard ascend. Cressy is the type of bird that will analyze it and go all the way around just to make the whole flight easier. And that is what Morgan is doing. She's going around to make that ascending more gradual versus having to go straight up. And even though it doesn't look like much of an ascend, it really is and it's harder. It's like adding incline to your workout. So here, I just kind of pushed too far. She was tired. I should have realized that I was asking a lot. I wasn't asking normal flights anymore. I was asking for more muscle, more strength. So I try to talk her into one last one and I stand halfway. So once she goes, then I stand the rest of the way having her actually do the entire ascend and ending on this one. Oh, wow. Good job. So Patty already fed her pellets. I literally walked in there and I was like, no. But I'm gonna see if she'll just do a couple flights for me anyway. Okay. Come on, Morgan. Come on, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Good. Good job. Expecting she get more than that. Idea. I'm gonna try reversing it. Yeah. 
Are you ready for that? Okay, hold on. Try it? Yeah, you're good. You want to try it?